So in order to follow a line, what we really are doing is following the edge of the line. And with one light sensor, it's going to either be seeing the dark or the light. When it's over the dark, it needs to turn one way, and when it's over the light, it needs to turn the other. A couple of the things to keep in mind is that you want to start with the light sensor on the line. You want to keep the light sensor between about an eighth and three eighths of an inch from the surface that you're going over and it pointing straight down. That'll prevent some reflective uh, interference from lights other than what the light sensor uses. You want to mount the light sensor as close to the middle of the robot and as close to the drive wheels as possible. If it's too far in front or behind, it gets swung around too much. And then make sure to set all the motor controls to unlimited. We're going to make a quick line following program for the NXT. The NXT has one light sensor attached to it and we want to build a program that's going to follow the edge of that line that we'll, we have down on the table. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a loop in because what we need to do is ask ourselves over and over and over am I on the line or am I off the line? If I'm on the line do one thing and if I'm off the line do something else. And we need to do that over and over so we put that inside of a loop. Now we need to ask the question light or dark and we use a switch for that we just bring it up and drop it here you'll notice the default is to pop up with a, a touch sensor so we're going to go down here and select light sensor and you'll notice it also changes to the default number three port and there's a light and a dark if the light sensor gives us a light value back we're going to do whatever is up here in the program if it comes back dark we run down here and watch how easy it is I can simply change light and dark by clicking those buttons and now the dark is going to be what's on top and the lights on the bottom in case after I've written my program I think it's backwards all I have to do is flip this little button right there I can also change the value from 50 to some other value if the light levels aren't quite right I'm going to leave it at 50 I know that happens to work with our table so if it's light what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the B motor and I'm going to run it unlimited so it's going to run until I tell it otherwise and I'm going to turn off the C motor so B motor on unlimited C motor off so whenever I'm on the light only the B motor is running now when it's dark I'm going to do the opposite I'm going to turn the C motor on unlimited and I'm going to turn the B motor off and you have to remember that just because I've turned the B motor on it has nothing to do with whatever's going on on C so when I come down here and turn the C on I have to remember to turn the B motor off so oh, let's turn that one off as well there so unlimited and off unlimited and off and that's the end of this program